But what up, what up, it's your man, man, Fiend, International Jones. And if you ain't know we rocking, well, we rocking. With Video Wayne, you heard me, Jet Life Jones. How I got to No Limit Records to, to, to have that partnership was I was working with Cain and Abel. Okay. They went by Double Vision at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm doing some writing, helping with choruses. And now that was cool, but when the twins got with Beast by the Pound and did that gangster fight. They got a feature, I think, from Moby and shit. Mm -hmm. It was over. We had real money in the video and shit. We was wildin', son. We was wildin', bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so Mia wanted me and Mac to feature on a song. So she came, got me and Mac individually. You hear I me? Mean? I met with her like in Swag, man. She was on some mafia shit, dog. She sent somebody to come get me. I met her at Swag, man. She around pushing a basket, doing her shopping. He walked me up to her. She was on some mafia <laughs> shit, dog. And um, so me and Mac was already cool. We stayed not too far from each other, man. Always just had love and respect. You feel me? So um, we got on song together and it was bonkers. <laughs> So that was one look, right? So then I used to go up there with KL. KL was going out to the Baton Rouge to produce the shit. KL was like, come ride with me. You know, it's all good. I'm like, huh, bro? So I get out there and they had a Studio A, Studio B. Man, that boy P came through there. But me and KL was on the B side. KL tinkering around on the drum machine. I'm like, just, you know, just vibing with him. Boy, that boy P peeped his head in. What's up, KL? So, Kia, let me highlight you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be right back, bro. That's what Kia told me. Oh, sound just like that nigga too. That <laughs> boy walked off. It went, all you heard was this. You heard it though? Man, who the f you got my guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm in that bitch like, okay. Say, bro, nah, man, it's all good, man. I don't want nobody. To, 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 to. Which is right, bro. He ain't know me like that. You heard me? It's his office, it's his safe place. Kev was like, bro, I'm telling you, dog, we need him. You heard me? He, a boy gonna do something. You heard me? Man, that went on and on. Then I kind of like blocked it out somehow. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm still out there. He came back in, Kev, Kevin. Damn, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he sat down with the tinkering around. And, um,. Because see, I was working with another company. Okay. P wasn't interested in doing no third party deals. When no you say working with a company, meaning you were signed already? I wasn't signed, but regardless of paperwork or not, we're joining at the hip. At the same time, he wasn't trying to do no third party deals. He was like, "What y'all? What y'all really trying to do? Are you trying to trying to run it up? You know I mean? He gonna do it?" And he was like, "Yeah, bring me two hundred fifty thousand." You know what I'm saying? Me and mine pull up with a bag. You know what I'm saying? What ain't hesitate? Ain't ain't, ain't blink. Ain't blink. You hear me? Here go the bag. What's up? Next thing you know, don't fuck around. Was recorded. Buy the soundtrack. Shit was over, dog. It was over. It was over, dog. It was over. Dog. It was It wasn't complete to buy the soundtrack yet. And he was letting the artist's music get placed in the movies. So that boy P heard that song, put it in the movie while he was in the crack house with the smoke all and with the red bit. It was over, bro. It was over. Then that boy was like doing Ghetto D, his album, right? Man, let me get on like about eight songs. I was turning in songs. I was like, bruh, what you and P a group now, nigga? Ooh, I was getting flack. Ooh, nigga was, ooh, ooh, nigga was giving me flack. Ooh, it ain't like, I'm a young nigga. Come on, Mia was loving it. Mia was like, ooh, cool. She's like, oh my God. She's like, fiend. Oh my God. I was just turning in songs. We was just doing shit. And then P was like, hey, dog, if you want me, come get me. How the fuck you gonna take me? I got my true with me again, we ride. Man, Mac was in that bitch like, go! Bitch, you want a real man, so won't you lay up there and give me the chance? I ain't saying romance, girl, but you got to be enhanced. I'm matured enough. The rule of thumb is you stay up seven days, you kill yourself. I stayed up, I didn't know that at the time. I stayed up five days 
straight, bro. I wanted to change my mama condition so fucking bad. I wanted to fucking get my mama a fucking house. I wanted to get my mama a motherfucking car. Dog, all the out of my body, my nigga, I swear for everything, dog. I'm not leaving this bitch, dog. I swear for God. But I need people to tell me to go to sleep. I need, I need to go to the, go, go lay down at home. And I said, my nigga, I ain't, I was laying on the crates. The fucking sound traps just that being a fucking, dog, that nigga, I be like, say, dog, Sun gone ballistic, dog. See, me and Mac bro. used to be dog. Passion for that. Peace to call us in when artists to come visit him and be like, buy that. Don't turn on a beat. You want to do something with us or whatever. You think we got no MCs? Me or not there? It may be headshots. Me and Mac was in a body in that, dog. I'm going to fuck who the f you brought in that bitch. I'm going to fuck what coast you from. I'm going to fuck who you was raised up on. I'm going to fuck who your producer is. If you came through that bitch, if you came through that bitch and Pete nodded us like, it was over. It was over. It was over. And I'd be, and I'd be, man, who the fuck these little niggas got? It was over, dog. I, who, 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 who was the niggas he had y'all by? Like, I ain't gonna even put them out. I ain't gonna put them out there. Oh, like no, that. Like, it, it, was, it was major artists. It was major people that would come want features from him or he invited him in town, you heard me? It yeah, was not a, then we just was like figuring out how to make songs. Other than that, we were just rapping. I asshole. Our mission very to get red. No let me mess in their red. But tell them I better get because the worst of their red. I got on Ghetto D. I got on, I was on the single, on the B side of the single. I miss my homies. And I'm on six, seven songs on his album on Ghetto D. I had to drop my album next. Yeah. P like, you gotta drop next. Yo, Fink. Who's got that fire? Yeah. You yeah. Me the smoke so I get higher. It was different. He came up with the title, There's One in Their Family. You know what I mean? Um. So I remember sitting in his office, running ideas. He like, what you think about A1 Yola? I'm like, eh, yeah, eh, you know. He like, man, fiend, fiend, fiend. He was like, it's like, there's one in their family. He was well, like. That was, oh, that was a pop, A1, that was. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a drug term, A1 Yola. That's like a West Coast Coke term, okay. the Yola A1. That was, that was a uh, possibility for the uh, title yell. For the, the first national female, yes it was. Okay. But Pete came up with Dare's one in their family. And I was like, that's it. I'm, I lived in a hotel for months and saved my money up from Ghetto D. When got me an apartment, paid that bitch out six months in advance, right? Mm -hmm. Paid my shit out, right? I remember that Silk said, man, fiend, don't you do it. Uh, don't you do it. You gonna be the man 100,000 no time, dude. You heard me? I was like, where are we gonna make money like that? You heard me, all right? Look, we went and got the Camaros. We motherfucking went to motherfucking uh, on Florida Boulevard. Nigga P bought 13 Camaros. I had the only red Camaro, right? I was paying attention and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was paying attention what was to the shit. significance to that? I, 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 I was on fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? And we used to push this up. Me, Max, Slim. That was that shit. Serve me a C, my nigga Corey Miller, dog. This shit was serious, bro. See, he handed me my tank, bro. He handed me and Mac our tanks. I'm on the floor hitting dice. I'm shooting dice. And see Peek around the corner like this here? Man, I'll let y'all. He pulled us in a little, like, a little kitchenette room in the office, and he reached me and Mac, I changed. He like, bro, we got our tanks, bro. We got our tanks, bro. Call my Fiend and Mac, cause we be strapped like the men in black. You know what I'm saying? Make a move with thug. Yeah, dog. See, it was, what, what, what made you guys more tighter than, you know, if that, if that was the case, what you guys, you and Mac? Man, we was, man, we peanut butter and jelly, bro. Like, it, we, we, was, we was like Coke and B12, Coke and fucking baking soda. We was locked just up. Like that. We just gel like that, you know hear I me? Mean? Yeah, let me, I, my correction on the B12 shit, you know hear I me? Mean? <laughs> Yeah.